We often discuss and taste tequila on the weekend sip, but 110 proof tequila, well, that is something special. And WSJ reporter Charles Passy is here just in time to plan for Cinco de Mayo. Hi, Charles. Hey. It's great to see Pleasure you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for bringing my favorite sip. You well, know I'm a tequila go. girl. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a little different. So. You're right. 110 proof. I mean, that's is that even legal? <laughs> it is totally legal, um, and it's kind of trendy. There are a number of tequila brands, um, Tapatio is one example, that have been pushing the limit. I mean, 80 proof is sort of the standard for spirits. And what we are now finding is that they are de essentially doing what's called an overproof tequila. So this is meant to be a sipping tequila. Absolutely. This is, I mean, if you want to put it in a margarita, God Feel bless, yeah. you can. It's a $90 bottle, so that's going to be a very expensive margarita. But this is really about sipping tequila. And, you know, even though it's overproof, what they will tell you is that, you know, think about it. When you have an 80 proof drink, what the distillery has done is already watered down the drink for you. That's true. It's really about getting the full character of the spirit. So of these 110 proof tequilas, the ones that you've tasted, right. do they have a similar flavor? My experience has been the higher the quality of the tequila, the almost less there's a taste to it. I think that there's actually, to be honest, there's a little bit of a misconception about high proof booze in general. Mm -hmm. And that is that it's going to be like, whoa, it's going to flood your senses. I mean, it definitely will hit you probably <laughs> after you drink it. But um, but a well-made spirit, it's not that it's necessarily going to feel that hot or that alcoholic. This is a very well-made spirit, I would say. And I would say that what really comes through here is the honest taste of agave, which is the plant that's okay. used to make mm -hmm. Tequila. So I would say it's to me it's really not as much about the alcohol, but you know, probably a couple of these you will but definitely. But hey, feel it. so you have it here neat, right? Right. Yes, and that's the way I think you should try it. Not so. with not with ice. No, no, not, you don't and you don't need the salt and you don't need the wedge of lime. What this, about no lime even? No, no, I mean I mean I suppose if you insist, but yeah. I, I think it's it's fine neat. All so right. there we go. Cheers or salud, mm. should we say? See, this is so lovely. This is right up my alley. Right. Yeah. This, this is a really this, nice tequila. This is excellent. Yeah. I mean, what you get is this initial burst of spiciness, like this mm -hmm. top note of pepper, and then this long citrusy kind of finish, I find. And it really is just a marvelous sipping tequila. I mean, they say it makes a very good margarita. They say it makes a good margarita with tamarind. I'm talking about what the brand is. Right. Sort of a fruity, tropical sort of flavored margarita. but. I think this is fine. I wouldn't add salt. I wouldn't add ice. I would just enjoy it it's on its amazing. own. It's amazing. A very can classy we, where way. Where can we get this? Where can um, we get this? It's pretty, it's pretty widely available. Any it's, liquor it's, store? You know, I mean, any liquor store that has a good selection of tequila. All right, so. Charles Hassey, thank you so much.